The advertising company Network BBDO has launched a limited edition coffee table book that examines the nature and the process of creativity to celebrate its turning 23 years. Kainsi Lepadi had a chat with the Network's co-founder Mike Shalit. Network BBDO was established when South Africa was going through the transition from apartheid into the democratic rainbow nation it is today. This means that Network is the exact same age as our democracy. Mike says establishing a company during this period of uncertainty was because they wanted to use creativity to make a difference. To start an agency, this country was at that stage all uncertainty, all the, like you mad starting a business. People are storing baked beans in cellars. You want to sell them? We created an agency with values and that values that were linked so much to the new democracy. And we wanted to use creativity to make a difference. The book titled Creative Director was initially meant to celebrate the company turning 21 and took two years to put together. It aims to help the company look to the future. Suddenly we were 21 years old and we're like, what could we do that isn't just another celebration or just a look back, is there some way of actually looking forward as well? Because it's not about the last 21 at that stage, maybe it's about the next 21. Creative Director features 30 creatives, all of which played a role being part of the network journey. The title itself is meant to highlight what it is to lead creativity, something that Mike Shalit feels these 30 creatives have grasped. Suddenly went, you know, all these amazing people that have come through our doors, they're all doing amazing things. We thought, why don't we talk to them and create something that's a tribute to the spirits that have been here, to their creativity. Along with celebrating creativity and helping networks celebrate 23 years of business, profits made by the book will help contribute a library to a disadvantaged community. Having contributed to 10 other libraries, Network is hoping that the next library comes purely from sales of the book. We started building libraries in township schools because we felt we need a new generation of imagination. Emma Stratum designed the book, making sure to give it a singular style. She makes use of different textures and bright colours, all of which come together to highlight Network's quirky and vibrant, easygoing vibe as a company. Emma Stratum, I mean, what an amazing artist, designer, mind and straight away I mean I knew she would be the right person to do the book with me and so she came up with this thought of well actually if you look at it it's about creative direction which is like a yin yang it's like two different things so she took these two things and you'll notice throughout the book she's got like so you'll have a beautiful photograph but then she's messed with it to create the chaos around it so it's like this ordered chaos and I think that's what creative direction is. Emma's great design is accompanied by some equally great stories about the company and the 30 creatives featured in the book. One of the stories includes a symbol that has become synonymous with today's digital savvy society, the hashtag, which is a big part of Network's brand. When we started the agency, we were linked uh, to TBWA, to an agency in Europe, because uh, we handled the, we picked up the Nissan account and they were called Network. In Amsterdam, Network, we had a receptionist, we were like, sorry, this Network doesn't sound right. We want to be Network, but H was linked to an agency in Japan, which was a Nissan agency, Haku Oda. So we were like, we looked on our keyboards. We were just, you know, we just, computers were just starting to happen as laptops then, and Apple had just come out in 84, and we were like, jeez. Um, we looked at that hash on the keyboards, we're like, oh, that looks like an H. We didn't even know it was called a hash at that stage. Let's rather substitute. Let's put that thing there instead of an H. It looks cool. It's quite sexy. So, hey, we were there and we, like, convinced them that it's better than an H. So sometime, then when we learned, well, some people called us net hash work. A network, and that was 94. Mike describes working on the book as being a labor of love. His work of art was made lovingly by people who come from humble beginnings. People who want to inspire and pass down their knowledge the only way that they know how to, and that is by being ridiculously talented. For Morning Live, I am Kaisi Lepaji.